you do a test or two, someone has blood in the urine, and you found out they have cancer of the bladder. Can you tell me something about cancer of the bladder? Yes. Cancer of the bladder, most of the time it starts in the urethelium, which is the lining of the bladder. And then after it starts in the lining, it's usually it's like a blend. They develop seeds. And that the, the, the roots that they develop over there, they start growing. And they grow deep, and then they grow outside of the bladder. Uh, is it fast growing? Uh, cancer of the bladder is much more fast growing than, for example, the other one that you can compare with, that cancer of the prostate. Is it more it's likely a, men it, or women to get it? Uh, it's usually in both. It's a, at a certain age, it's more apt to get a younger person, an older person? You can have a younger person, and you can have an older person with this cancer. And how is it treated? Uh, it's treated depending on what you have. The first line of treatment is the resection. It's Move. through the cystoscope. You look in there with the telescope. You find the cancer, and you scrape it off with the current. It's an electrical current, and you scrape it off. And you take some tissue underneath the cancer to see whether or not the cancer has advanced and developed rooting into it, which is growing into the other side of the lining of the bladder. So earlier the diagnosis, the better you? Very important. Cancer of the bladder is one of the important things to make a diagnosis very so early. you see blood in your urine, don't, oh, it's nothing. You, you, no, blood in the urine, it's a warning sign, even if it disappears. If you saw it once, you should consult. Don't let it go. Very important to consult, and consult very early. If you get it early, the prognosis is good or bad? If it's a superficial type of tumor, without invasion, only into the lining, just the simple resection could be more than enough. And it get, well, if it comes back and it's multiple, then you have to treat it with certain medication that is giving in the bladder. One of the medications is BCG, which is tuberculosis type of, of the, the, the same that you use in, in pediatrics, you use the vaccination, which is called BCG, Bacillus of Calmetingran. That usually is an attenuated Bacillus of tuberculosis, and it's used, and what it does, I think it usually develops the immune system in the bladder. It does not prevent you from getting it in the future, but it develops the immune, and it boosts the immune system, and it prevents you from the recurrence. It cuts down the recurrence. If you have multiple tumors, your chances of having a recurrence are up to about 60 to 70 percent. This one will cut it down to approximately about 35 to 40 percent, which is a significant amount of decrease in the possibility of getting this tumor coming back. And as we know, that every time you get this tumor back, there is a possibility that this can start going and growing into the muscle. Then if it grows into the muscle, the best treatment for this is the removal of the bladder. Pretty, pretty steep thing. Right. Now, one of the recommendations right now with the AUA is that whenever you make a diagnosis and you do the surgery initially by the scraping of this tumor, the best and single treatment that you can do for your patient is give him one single shot of chemotherapy into the bladder in the recovery room. Leave it in there for two hours with a clamped catheter and then take out the catheter and let them urinate on their own. That is the simple best prognostic factor that you can do to a patient. And it works. And it works very well because it cuts down on the recurrence and it cuts down on the seeding during the procedure. Because this tumor, the cells will go in their seed in any place where there is trauma, any kind of abrasion, irritation, scratching with the instruments inside the bladder. And the removal of the tumor by itself, if you have floating cells, they will seed again in the same place. Now, this thing with giving the, the medication, the chemotherapy in the recovery room, that usually what it's going to do is going to cut down on those cells seeding again because it's going to kill those floating cells, which makes more sense. So early detection, early diagnosis gets you better prognosis, is that correct? Correct. It so sounds like a riddle, but it's the truth. But it's the basic premise. It's the basic cancer. premise in cancer of the bladder.